Man shot by police on live TV. What's up? My name is Jared, and we're gonna get right into it. So this looked like a scene straight out of any crime thriller movie you've ever seen. In a video which is circulating around the web, multiple police officers can be seen chasing and eventually shooting a man dead in his car in Phoenix, Arizona. In the video, multiple cars filled with officers can be seen chasing one black SUV, which police believe contained one of three armed bank robbery suspects. Over the span of about 45 minutes or so and approximately 30 miles, the chase concluded with one of the suspects suspects being shot and killed, while the two others actually jumped out at different locations. One of the men was traced back to his house thanks to the help of a canine unit, while the other was apprehended by police. The two other men are currently in custody. In a live stream by Fox News, the two reporters can be heard commentating on what is happening. At the beginning of the video, which has since been uploaded to YouTube, a man can be heard saying, alright, once again folks, this is live, so just as a reminder, some of the images here may not be suitable for all audiences. Since this is a live stream, here right now, anything can possibly happen. And it's a good thing they said that because that's exactly what did happen. On the live stream itself, after the cops pulled off the good old pit maneuver, they jumped out of their cars and they fired multiple shots into the suspect's car windshield. The pit maneuver stands for precision immobilization technique and the point of it is to pretty much put the car in a position where it's stuck. Once they had the car surrounded, without much hesitation, they started firing. Now before people start going off about police brutality, we don't know the entire context of what happened. We do know the suspect was armed, alone, and potentially dangerous. Although there is no confirmation as to what he did when he was immobilized, it wouldn't surprise me personally if maybe he instinctively grabbed his gun. And when the cops saw that, well, they weren't going to take any chances. But again, nothing has been confirmed. This is just what I am personally assuming. And to let you guys know how serious this chase really was, it wasn't just your regular police that tried stopping these guys. The SWAT team also had to get involved. They are actually the ones that were responsible for shooting the suspect dead. If you watch the video itself, which may be hard for some to view, the shooters seem to have used an automatic or semi-automatic weapon to shoot the suspect. The shooting is currently being investigated by not only the local police department, but also the SWAT and the FBI. So this is starting to seem more and more like a Hollywood flick come to life. And going back to my comment in regards to police brutality, I in no way think it's okay for the cops to abuse their power, and I find it to be disgusting with how some of these situations are handled. On the other hand, as mentioned before, we don't know the events that took place inside the suspect's car. If he did in fact pull out a weapon, the police had every right to shoot. If he didn't, well, that's a completely different story. As the investigation continues, we will be sure to keep all of you guys up to date with what is happening. It's good to know that these criminals will no longer be able to cause harm to anyone, but it's unfortunate that it had to end the way it did. For all your news, I'm Jared. You can check out the story link as well as my personal Instagram in the description below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on the entire situation by dropping me a comment. I'll see you soon.